Philadelphia Citizens Bank Park. We've got baseball on the show. The Atlanta Braves taking on the Philadelphia Phillies. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So just about set now. Today's starting pitcher, Zach Wheeler. What do you got on him, Chris? Well, the hammer is in effect, and he sets it up so nicely because of the velocity on the fastball. We'll elevate that and then break you off when he's ahead in the count. What I love about him, you get into the later innings of the ball game, and the velocity seems to go up. Ready to go? Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. The pitch. Up the middle. Now a jump throw. One out in the top of the first. Okay, let's check out the lineup. We could be in for a power showcase today with the wind blowing out a lot of lift and separate, Chris. Well, we know hitters are in this era definitely trying to hit the ball in the air regardless of the conditions, but I think even a little more so there's margin for error if you can get the ball up in the air. So, you know, you'll see at times, I'm sure, with two strikes, what looks like a half swing that can get out of the ballpark with a hitter who's got decent pop. And a pitch. Pulled hard, but it's a foul ball. Albies is playing on the road, so you know that means he's been FaceTiming with his pet fish. This guy owns a few home aquariums, and it's no secret he likes talking to his fish when he's away. In fact, Albies had cameras installed so he can check on the fish anytime he wants. One down, base is empty. Nope, that's off the plate. Oh, he never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Bounced up the middle. Turner on to first. Two away here in the top of the first. Here's Austin Riley. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. There's a strike. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball, 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. Two outs, base is empty. That one ripped, but foul. The other way, makes the grab, and that's the inning. Braves go down quickly here. Phillies coming up to hit. No score. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Back here, Citizens Bank Park. And today's starting pitcher, Spencer Strider. We know he's one of the best in the game. Doesn't make many mistakes. And if he's in a pitch, he'll make up a pitch and throw something that you've never seen before. Bottom of the first. Now at the plate, Kyle Schwarber. He is very much your typical power hitter. I'd say he falls into the three true outcomes category. Well, we've seen more and more of that lately. The ability to drive the ball to slog is getting heavily favored over any discipline or strikeout concerns. Strider, an all-star a season ago. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, a changeup, and he works in a two-seamer. pitch off the mark there two and two really close pitch down around the knees there and you could see him asking where it missed 
Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. Ripped on the ground a second. Throw on to Olsen. One up, one down. And time now for the Phillies lineup. All right, Siggy, how about all the talent in this lineup? They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team, and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams, especially in a big game, big series. Here's Turner now. Harris pulls it down, and there's two gone. The first base. And now here is Harper. Harper. Swing and a miss. Strike one. On the ground to the left. Riley fires the first inning over Phillies down in order scoreless after one all set for the start of the inning and now Matt Olson up to hit Olson coming off an amazing 2023 campaign prodigious power numbers and he cut his strikeout rate the wind in the pitch. Swing and a liner foul off to the right. Here's the one. One ball, one there. One Matthew Ross umpiring behind home plate for us in this one. He's got a reputation for having a bit of a wide strike zone, Chris. Yeah, no doubt, Boog. He rewards pitchers when they're working the edges and sometimes a little bit beyond that. So for the hitters, just have to really be aware. Don't miss your pitch when you get it early in the count. Left hand batter waits. Next offering misses down and away. Well, he got challenged with a good fastball right there. Just couldn't catch up. There's a swing and a drive. That one's deep. Up against the wall and brings it in. Man, I love that route. The ball was smoked. He knew he had to get back to the track right away. Turned his back on the infield. Got to the spot, turned around, and made a nice catch. Here's Marcelo Zuna. Got to be careful with this guy. He's got power. He can untie it with one swing. And that one sliced foul. The pitch. That to right. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Two away. So now to the plate for Atlanta. Michael Harris. Late on that fastball. Just a bit tardy there. Not sure if he had a hard time picking it up out of the hand or if he was sitting off speed. Liner, and that should be extra bases. And that's going to get into the corner. Now he'll turn for second. Marsh quickly gets it back in. And now a runner moves into scoring position as we look for the first run of the ball game. Fastball off the plate a little bit, but a really nice job of going with it. Punched it to the opposite field for that knock. A chance now to take the lead, and at this point in the game, that could be a deciding run. So two down, Sean Murphy next up for the Braves. Hard liner. Squeezes it, and that's the third out. One left for Atlanta. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Here in Philadelphia, here's Nicholas Castellanos. 
Strider back to work on the corner for a strike. Man, I mean, nice job just presenting it to be better than it actually was. That's off the mark. One and one. Right through there for a strike. Well, it looks like he's wanting to work the upper part of the strike zone. What does that mean? Top hand better be working for the hitters. Adjust that side a little bit. Give yourself a chance to hit. later you can't argue with those results Now it's Alec Bohm. And it's fouled away. Oh, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. The pitch. Liner, base hit. He was all over that one. Maybe good. a little out front of the pitch the right there, base. but he squared it up Boy, pretty good, yeah. and he kept it inside the line. And just a really nice job on the other side by the defense to hold that to a long single. Bryson stop. The next to hit takes ball one. Boom. Gets his lead at first. Nobody out. The next pitch misses. Now 2 0. Oh. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Two and one now. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. Not even close there. And the count's full. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. And one out now. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. JT Real Muto steps in. That's in for a strike. Righty to the plate. Fastball for a strike. 0 and 2. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0 2 hole, he's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. That one missed. Next offering is down low. Great job of laying off those pitches down in the zone to even the count off at two and two. Such a better feeling for the hitter. Kicks and fires. Broken bat, roll to first. 
Off balance feed, there's one. And that's all they'll get. Well, that they weren't overzealous there. Just take the sure out, keep the runner out of scoring position. Brandon Marsh steps to the plate. In there, and it's 0 1. One run across in the frame so far. Bottom half of inning number two. And takes low for ball one. One ball, one strike. And another ball. That catches the outside corner. That's strike two. Right-hander kicks, deals. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The 2-2. Gets a piece, and stays alive. That's a base hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Nice line drive to the pole side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Down the line. And yeah, that drops foul. pitch popped up to the left into foul ground he's there he's got it and that is the third out of the inning so the Phillies strike first with a solo home run it's now a one nothing ball game you're watching Major League Baseball on the show On to the third inning. Here's Jared Kelnick. Wheeler in his 11th season, 33 years old, and he was awarded a gold glove in 2023. There's a strike. One strike. Close, but call the ball. And the count is one and one. And now a little barking back towards the umpire. Clearly thought he got that outside corner on what was a pretty big pitch. Sometimes that only makes it worse for you moving forward, but it can also open up that location in the future if the umpire thinks there's a chance that he missed it. Stop. Settles underneath it. Makes the catch for the out. That's a really nice play, ranging back into the outfield for that catch. We all know those can be a little tricky, especially if the wind's swirling around out there. Here's Orlando Arcia. The shortstop takes the ball. One and out. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. He's got it, and there's two away. Now the right field. So the batting order turns over, and now it's Ronald Acuna Jr. Rolled out to second in his first at bat. And there's a ball. Trying to hold a one-run lead. We're here in the top half of inning number three. Oh. Next offering upstairs. The wind of the pitch. That's a corner. Ozzie Albies up next. Looking to get the tying run on base. That one finds the zone. And a count is three and one. And a strike in there. And boy, that was the pitch. 3-1. You want to be really aggressive on the fastball. 
The right hander gives up the two out walk. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Wheeler keeping him close. Big situation right here. You got some speed over there at first base. He represents the tying run. Question is, do you send him and get him in the scoring position, or do you let going, that batter? Acuna runs. Pitch misses. Real mutual oh, throws, not in time. It's a stolen base. That was close, but StatCast shows us why he so often seems to be on the safe side of these steal attempts, Chris. Yeah, you see that plus speed, and he needed every last bit of it to swipe that bag. Such a threat on the bases. No. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Yeah, that's ball two. With a single base runner, because of all the power, they are dangerous to tie this thing up or take the lead. So the tying run at second. That catches the zone for a strike. And a count two and one. One way to make a guy real uncomfortable at the plate is pound him inside with good velocity. They're doing that right here. Man on second, two down. Sliced hard, but foul. And here it comes. Fights it off, he'll see another. Acuna at second with two down. Hard hit, right side. And that is the inning. Braves strand one, and it remains one nothing. Here in Philadelphia, here bottom of the Philly. inning, Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. Kyle Schwarber. And the right hander back to work. One that one out. not close, and it's 1-0. Wouldn't chase that time. Here's a 2 1. Clobber to right field, way back, gone! A gigantic blast, and they add to the lead. It's 2 0. A little more breathing room is always a good thing in baseball, and now they have it. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spent on some other pitches in this at bat. Was very patient, and it paid off. Trey Turner at the plate. 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. The shortstop okay. takes the ball. Kicks and deals. Foul ball. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. Here comes a pitch. In the air, fairly deep to right field. And Acuna able to make the grab. And there's one the away. First baseman number three, Bryce Harper. Bryce Harper to the plate. Rounded out his first time. Line 
drive, and that should be extra bases. Around first and hustling for second. The throw in, and that's a two-bagger. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy, didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep, took the barrel right to it, and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. One out, runner at second. Nick Castellanos stands in for the Phillies. Right through there for a strike. Man at second. One ball, one strike. Strider. One of the best strikeout pitchers in the game, and that certainly is a benefit to him when he's in a spot like this. At the belt and fires. And that's outside. Yeah, if you're going to be in the game in high leverage situations, you've got to be able to get the swing and miss and put hitters away. And that's downstairs and outside. The 3 1. Here's a swing and a drive left field, and he knew it. Another homer, his second home run of the game, and they add on. It's 4 0. There's a most predictable count to get a fastball. It's still three balls and one strike. I'll tell you what, that hitter was ready for it. He got his pitch, and he absolutely unloaded on it. So one out, nobody on. Now the third baseman, Alec Bohm. Ball one, no strikes. Already three runs across in the frame here in the last half of the third. And the righty deals. And that is in for a strike. And it's one and two. All sliders so far in this at bat to get ahead in the count and clearly shows there was a game plan in mind for how to attack him in the box. One down, base is empty. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. Well, they call that an advantage count for a reason. You're so much more likely to get something you can handle. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. This is Bryson stop. That one catches the corner. Very well executed changeup right there. If he can command the fastball consistently, that's going to be an important pitch in terms of him turning this outing around. Out to center. Harris has a beat on it. Two away down. The batter, the catcher, Jake C. Real Muto. Met at first, and up to the plate is JT Real Muto. He's 0 for 1. Right through there for a strike. Goodness, I think he just took the best pitch he's going to see in this at bat. You don't get many like that in that location. I don't know if you take that pitch against any pitcher out there on the mound. Two outs. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. In the dirt, blocked. Nice job behind the plate there. Boom. Leads off first with two down to the inning. Goes down looking. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now a 4 nothing ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show.
as we go to the top of the fourth. Here's the third baseman, Austin Riley. Wheeler back to work. That one finds the zone. 1 1. Just missed. The 1 1. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. That's back. Going gone. A massive home run. And they inch closer. It's 4 1. That one just sounded different. And yeah, it might have been the loudest moment yet. Man, my ears are ringing. I can feel that swing from the booth. When a guy's got a real hard fastball, you can't overswing. All you've got to do is get the bat head to the spot. If you do, he supplies the power, and you'll get to jog around the bases like he did right there. Here's Matt Olson. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. Harper makes the grab. One away. It's a good recovery, though, after giving up the home run. Not allowing it to stay in the head, but going to work at the next hitter. And a tough one at that. Marcelo Zuna digs in now. That one misses, and that's ball one. The Braves trailing by three, top half of inning number four. In there at the knees. Swing and a miss as he was out front. One down, base is empty. Fouls it off, still one and two. And the pitch. Fouls it back with two strikes. One out, base is empty. Fights that one away, still one and two. Pitcher having a pretty tough time getting that swing and miss. Third foul ball in a row. And he hits a ground ball right side. That's out number two. Up next for Atlanta, the center fielder, Michael Harris. And now the center fielder, Michael Harris, doubled in his first A.B. That one fouled off. A little out front there as he swings through it. Out towards right center. That's well struck. And that one is out of here. He flexes his power with that swing. It's their second home run of the inning. And they close the gap. It's 4-2. That was blasted. Absolutely. No doubt off the bat. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. Base is empty with two away. So here's Murphy now. Swings through that one out in front no that time. One strike. Two down, nobody on. 
Good eye right there. The pitch. That one in the dirt, and the count is even two and two. Just off the outside edge. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Jared Kellner, next to bat for the Braves. Righty delivers. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Well, he tried to nibble right there and just missed his spot. Hitter didn't offer at it. Now he has somebody to worry about over at first. Here's the left fielder, Jared Kellner. And he can't come up with it. No throw. That's an error, and everyone is safe. Well, things that lead to big innings other than hits or home runs are, of course, walks and errors. Free base runners, and they've been gifted with both so far this inning. And that will make any manager in the dugout just stew a little bit, and I'm sure he is right now. So first and second with two outs. And now the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. And the pitch a little bit low, ball one. First and second, two down. Fought off foul. So the tying run at second. Swing and a miss, chased it out of the zone. Well, on the mound, you take a note, you see the hitter's willingness to chase that pitch upstairs, get deeper in the count, and try to climb the ladder. Two on, two outs. Foul ball still, one and two count. And a pitch. And another ball. This guy's a fun guy to watch taking it bad. He just battles up there. He doesn't take a pitch off at all. Makes it so difficult on the pitchers out there. You can tell they get frustrated with how long it takes to put him away. Gloves it on the dive. And that's a great play for the out. Excellent stop right there. He wants to take it himself. Waves the pitcher off and continues to run into the dugout. of the fourth and digging in for Philadelphia Brandon Marsh the wind of the pitch and first offering is fouled off well these Phillies doing a good job of putting the ball into play and that makes things more challenging on the defense this one swung on and hit well way back there to the warning track, makes the catch. Wow, that one almost got out of here. I know the wind's blowing out to left, but man, that almost pushed it over the Looks fence. I bet hitters are trying to get the ball up in the air and hit it that direction. I know I would be. And now here is Johan Rojas. Popped out and foul ground first time through. And that one fouled off. Base is empty one away. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. That's a strike. Foul ball still 0 and 2. Hit in the air, right field. Under it is Acuna to make the grab. That's out number two. The batter, the designated hitter. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. He's already homered in this game.
Swing and a high fly ball out there towards left field. Kelman makes the play and it's out number three. Jose Alvarado comes on now. Well, he's the guy they hope to turn to out of the pin to lock down wins. So this game is gone the plan, more or less. Let's see if he can wrap it up here. As the lefty gets to work, Acuna in the box again, takes the strike. You know, these Braves just haven't produced as many competitive at-bats as I'd like to see in this one. They really haven't worked many deep counts or long at-bats, no, and that's fine if you're having a lot of success, but at this point, I think it's time to make an adjustment. And a pitch. And that one pulled foul. It's good speed at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Here is Ozzy Albies up to him. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. In the air, out towards right center. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. And he's got a double. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Austin Riley next up for the Braves he's already homered here in this one first pitch misses with the tying run at the plate and we're at the top of the fifth next pitch is downstairs Tying run at the plate. That's down and in. And you got to wonder with first base open, one out. Is he going to get a pitch to hit? Matt Olson on deck for Atlanta. And that's ball four. Walk side of the bullpen can absolutely kill your momentum very quickly. They're in some hot water trying to protect this lead. Now a move being made at second base. Coming in as the pinch runner, Forrest Wall. Two on, one out. And now Matt Olson. The last thing he wants is to hit the ball on the ground, but I wouldn't expect many pitches up in the zone. They'll be pitching for a double play in this spot. And a swing and a miss. He got away with one there, but he knows he can't go into that spot very often against a guy like this. Next pitch is outside. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. He fouls it off. We'll do it again. Wall, the lead runner at second. Riley over at first with one away.
Well, you've got to be ready to swing the bat with a runner in scoring position and two strikes. Just put the ball in place somewhere, and you got a chance. Very frustrating for him, I'm sure. See if the next guy can pick him up. So they're down to their final out at the play. Marcelo Zuna. First pitch doesn't find the zone. One ball, no strike. Two outs, couple of base runners at first and second. Wouldn't chase that time. Could be some action here on this next pitch. Couple runners on, probably a challenge pitch coming. So the tying run at second. Right through there for a strike. Well, I think that pitch surprised all of us. Right down the middle, doesn't get a swing. Not very often you see a hitter lay off a cookie like that. This could end it. The healthy cut, tough pitch at 98. But a really good pass at the ball. That misses off the outside edge. So both runners should be on the move here on the full count pitch. Yeah, this is a good chance to tie up this ball game. See if he can find some open grass in the outfield. Two outs. Fouled off again, and it remains three and two. And a three two. Stays alive. Grinding AB right here, about to see pitch number 10. And there's a base hit in the left. Here comes the runner. Now a long throw home. It's off the mark, and he scores. But well, when you see that many pitches in it at bat, your chances of succeeding go up. And right there, we see the result. Jeff Hoffman. Well, the best relievers love the opportunity to come in and protect the tight lead late in the ball game. Some of them are just wired different, so we'll see what he's got here. Substitution being made at first. Entering is the pinch runner, Julio Pablo Martinez. Here's the center fielder, Michael Harris. Trying to deliver as the hero. Swings and misses. Strike one. Just missed. Oh, he doesn't get the call. Two and one. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Two two. Oh, and he hit him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. No, that's not exactly what they're going for when they say one up, one down. Here's Sean Murphy. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands oh. out. That one a little bit high. Ball one. When you got a catcher like this guy with a big arm like that behind the plate, it really shuts down the running game. Two outs, bases are full. Sharp grounder, that's through for a base hit. One runs in, here's the throw. 
It's a clutch at bat and could be one of the biggest ones of the game as they jump ahead by one. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield, and even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. Jared Kellner getting ready to hit. They take the force out. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. Three runs for them here, and they move ahead. Last half of the fifth coming up. It's the Braves five and the Phillies four. Now into the game, Forrest Wall. He'll play second. Now playing second. Raisel Iglesias into the game. Save opportunity for him right here, and he's their guy. Time to lock this one down and get out of here with the W. Well, one run game. Here's Trey Turner. And a pitch. Trying to keep good speed off the bases. One strike. I'm impressed that he went right after him on that first pitch. That's the key. Try to get ahead in the count, and you can play around a little bit more as the if bat expands. That's in there. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. The shortstop takes a ball. Swing and a miss struck him out. Well, that slider wasn't even close to the strike zone, and he got him to chase. That's just a bad approach right there. Either he was looking for something else and got completely fooled, or he was sitting all over the slider and just couldn't resist the temptation. But, man, really expanded right there and didn't have a chance to make the contact with that pitch. Swing and a high fly ball down the left field line, but hooking foul. Right through there for a strike. Trying to close out a one run lead, last half of inning number five. That misses the zone, and it's one and two. I don't think he was trying to miss by that much in an 0-2 count. Just tried to overthrow that pitch. One down. Phillies down a run. Hit on the ground to the right side. Harper retired. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. Last chance for the Phillies. Nick Castellanos stands in for the Phillies. And that one hit 97 on the gun. And that's outside. 2 and 0. Oh. They get to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if you will. Big pitch coming right here. Last thing he wants to do is put the tying run on base, but he can't groove on either. He walked in, and that will keep things going. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is if you are the offensive side of it. Up to hit for the third time as he lays off inside ball one. That one missed.
And now two and two. The Phils down to their final strike. Swing and a miss. And that's the ball game. Sometimes it takes just getting away from home. Players can sort of come together, connect a little bit more than they do when they're at home with their families. And that can breed to success on the field, as we saw in this game today. Excellent win by this team. Close one here today, and your final 5-4. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.